two National League teams. We've got the New York Mets taking on the Florida Marlins in Miami. It's Major League Baseball 2K11. Our site for today's game in Miami at Sun Life Stadium, the home of the Marlins. Two teams who are battling in the National League East. It's the Mets and the Florida Marlins. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, John Crock, and Steve Phillips. And we'll take a look at the starting pitcher for Florida. The Negro League's outstanding strikeout pitcher with a dominating fastball and wicked curve. Quiet Leon Day was the mainstay of the Newark pitching staff in the late 1930s and 40s. Steve, uh, as we focus on these med hitters, how does he see them? Now this right-hander on the mound today should not have much difficulty going through this lineup. They tend not to hit the quality pitchers in the game, and he clearly is one of the best around. So who are you looking at, John? Well, a guy that sometimes gets left out on an island on his team with a lot of injuries to the other players. He's the guy that has to step up and play pretty much every day. David Wright, though, is the guy that they count on to drive in the big runs and be that force in the middle of the lineup that the other team has to defend against. It's going to be Wilson now. Marlins lost last night, so after dropping game one of three in this series, they'll be trying to notch one against the Mets. Too far outside, 1-0. and That last one, they just could not get on the scoreboard. Well, they got their hits, but they just couldn't figure out a way to push runs across the plate. The 1-0 now, towards center field. One away. Now we've got a brief moment to show you how Florida will shape up defensively. So with one away, let's take a look at Jose Reyes. Lifetime average, 251 hitter off Florida. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. Here's what's next for the Marlins. This New York series ending tomorrow. Then they'll have the home field advantage. They take on the Nationals, that big bat of Ryan Zimmerman. That series bound to be competitive. That's a three-game series. And then they'll have to contend with Lance Berkman and the Astros lineup. That should be a great series. They really match up well. Base is empty and two down. He deals. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. And that down and in to even the count at one. Well, the pitcher's just trying to keep the hitter off balance by throwing that changeup. Problem is he got that pitch in enough, but luckily it was down or else that one could have hurt him. Fouled off. Oh. The one-two pitch. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. You're out. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Bottom half coming up, Florida Marlins. And Bell's in the box. He'll get things at the age of 19, Doc Gooden quickly developed a reputation with his 98 miles per hour fastball and sweeping curveball, becoming the premier strikeout pitcher of his day. Started here in the home half of the first. The first pitch, Hernandez in position. In time for the out. We'll take a moment to look at the Marlins lineup. Okay, this is what I call a circular lineup. Stars really throughout the lineup. They're all the same. They hit for average, hit for power, drive in runs, really star studded throughout. Got a chance to check out the Mets. This is how they position themselves defensively. John, no scouting anyone here? 
Well, the excitement that Jose Reyes brings to a ballpark, everyone thinks it's just offensively, but defensively, he can be a lightning rod, too. He can cover so much ground as far as pop-ups go behind him, but he's also great with a strong throwing arm at turning the double play. Base is empty with one away. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Here's the 1 0, and Kent picks it up. And he throws to first in time, out number two. And fans, look out for next Tuesday. We'll be out in Kansas City, home of the Royals, and the Chicago White Sox roll into town. Action gets started, 8 Eastern. Base is empty with two outs. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Ball. Pitch on the way. Here's a curveball that bounces to the plate. Here's the 1-1. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. And it goes foul. No luck on that one. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. No scoring here, ending this half inning. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. Big Bats ready to make an appearance. Strawberry is the batter. He'll start it off here in the second. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the Major League. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. One one. Swung on and ripped towards second. Play is made. Let's take a brief look here at the Mats and how they ranked in the National League last season. First in stolen bases, second in triples, and for the hits numbers, well, they didn't quite have the numbers you want there offensively, which really leads to some questions about their offensive production and how many runs they can score. It's going to be Hernandez. Another tough season in New York for the Mats, and, you know, they finished under 500, and a big part of that is how they played against the National League East. First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. 31-41 and was the Mets' record against the uh, East, and... That's not going to do it. Yeah, Gary, if they're going to have any chance of getting back atop this division, they need to start oh. to separate themselves within the division. They can't lose 12 out of 18 games to the Florida Marlins. They can't lose 11 out of 18 games to the Atlanta Braves. They need to start to win within the division. Line towards second. Number six. Oh. Two retired here. going to be Johnson now. Two outs, space is empty. Strike one. Here it comes. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Some guys throw in, some guys pitch in. He pitched in right there to get the strike. Now let's see if he pitches away. Not letting up on that swing, but he missed it. 0-2 now. Let's take this Change up got him, and the side is retired. And they aren't able to make any noise here in this half inning. Mets can't get the offense going. 
And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Look out as that one runs in and hits him. Well, that fastball had teeth on it. It just took a bite out of that guy. And their number six hitter. Uh, Gary, we see that guy get hit with a pitch. I mean, sometimes, listen, as a pitcher, you just lose a grip on the ball. It doesn't come out of your hand the right way. You end up hitting somebody. Runner on first. Takes that one long outside on one. And the question after you've hit a batter like we've seen here, Steve, is as a pitcher getting your focus back. Yeah, but listen, it's only one runner on. Take a deep breath. Get yourself back and settle down a little bit. And He's running towards second. Strike two! And he is safe at second. Ball got him one away. All right, chases the breaking ball for strike three right there. You got to lay off it. Well, we've got a moment to look back here at the Florida Marlins and how they fared last year. Third in triples, fourth in doubles, and they were in the top ten in home runs. That ability to drive the ball really paid dividends for this team's offense. Man on second, one away. Spins on a throw behind the runner. One on, one out. Here's the pitch. Strike. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Well, he just reared back and said, here it comes, big boy. Here comes my best fastball. He busted him inside with it. The pitch. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. Rolling into the corner, that's going to be extra bases. The run scores. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Leonard. Up of the plate. Offense, when you get it, well, it doesn't matter what part of the game it is. They've got themselves something to build on. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat right there. He got the job done. When he got his pitch, he knew what to do with it, and he delivered. Oh, Fastball taken high. 1-0. and oh. As Ralph Kiner, our old buddy, used to say, you know, good at bats is one where you get production, and that's what they got right there. Yeah, but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Hey, he's trying to steal third. Strike one. Oh, oh trying to steal third. The 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch, a curve, taken for a strike, 1-2. and two. You're out. The 1-2 on its way. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. Getting things going early, they get a run in the second. Florida leading this one, 1-0. One to nothing. Leadoff hitter David Wright. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. 
He hit seven for 24 last year against the Marlins here in Florida. One oh on the way. And right retired. Look, oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. It's Kent at the plate. One out, faces him. Hit hard to second. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. Great play made. Boy, middle of the infield. You love that kind of help. Oh, he stretched out as far as he could possibly go to be able to make the play. Gold glove effort. And the left fielder in. First year, rookie year for him. Base is empty and two down. Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Strike two. Here's the delivery. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Line drive. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No hits, nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. Marlins holding on to the lead. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Sunlight Stadium, what a beautiful night. Outdoor baseball here in Miami. Here's a swing and a fly ball. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. Here's what the Mets have coming up in April. Tomorrow, they finish up this Florida series. And they'll have to deal with Jimmy Rollins, and they'll be in Philadelphia against the Phillies. It'll be a three-game series. After that, they head home to match up against the Nationals, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. Nobody on base, one away. Fastball just misses. What an oh. Here's the pitch. This is that breaking ball on the 1 0 pitch, now even at 1. One one pitch. Ball two. Breaking ball can't find the zone. Two and one. Ball Good three. curve, but he doesn't bite at it. Now three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Up the middle. Ooh, look out. Off the pitcher. Played by Reyes. And that'll set down Johnson. Oh, you talk about a friend in need. They team up and get the out. Wow. And Bell's in the box. Grounded out his last time through. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Can't make contact on that bunt attempt. That's a strike. Oh. 
Here's the delivery. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here's the pitch. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. Curveball. Where did that miss? Two and two. That swung on and flied to right. And there's the third up. And a good half inning there. Gone in short order in this one. Marlins won. The Mets done. It's going to be Wilson now. He'll dig in. Start of the fourth inning. Here's the first pitch. First pitch. Fastball. 0-1. Look, they haven't scored or gotten a hit, and we're in the fourth inning right now, and they've got to really reconsider their approach at the plate as we move through the lineup the second time around. Really nailed that one right through the middle of the infield. You're out. One away. Triples last year. The leaders, sure. State Farm brings it to us. Number one, Jose Reyes. Second is Carlos Gonzalez. Third, Matt Kemp. Fourth spot held by Ryan Howard. And sitting number five, it's Andrew McCutcheon. Well, there's nothing as important besides a home run than a triple, and this guy can do it better than anyone, and he did it last year. Number one in triples. i tell you what, not only do you have to have a lot of speed, but you have to be able to put the ball in play on a consistent basis to hit as many triples as he can. First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. Well, Jose Reyes is one of the most exciting players in baseball, but he has to stay on the field. A history of leg problems, 2010, he missed time early in the season, and then late in the season, he missed some time also, but he still put up pretty good numbers. Needs to be healthy, though, if his team's going to win. And with three balls, Jose Reyes, he's in the driver's seat at the plate. Jose Reyes with that great speed, 30 stolen bases. You have to wonder, the thyroid issues he struggles with, are they going to keep him on the bench? Well, he made the all-star team again. It looks like they got the thyroid under control. I think the big question is, can he keep his legs healthy? Because that is the name of his game. He needs to run. is ball four the potential tying run on base well the pitcher nibbling a little bit right here hitter not being overly aggressive laying off those borderline pitches Piazza batting now that walk is the tying run in this situation now he's got to look for a ground ball try to get the double play and get out of this inning Reyes is on at first And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Steve, you issue walks as has happened here in this inning. You limit now what you can do. You've got to get the guys out, not let anybody else on. Well, that's right. He's going to have to look for a ball down in the zone, try to get the hitter hit on top of it and get that double play. 0-1 pitch is a change. Swung on and missed. 0-2. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. The pitch popped way up there behind home plate. Out number two. Take a look at the teams who led in stolen bases last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Mets. Second, the Padres. In third, the Nationals. Phillies fourth. It's the Astros, number five. 
Well, Gary, you talk about putting pressure on the opposition. This team last year was number one in stolen bases in the league. And when they get on base, a lot of things happen. You make the pitcher work so much harder, throwing over, stepping off, slide steps and all that stuff to try to keep him from stealing base. And then well, he's running, taking off for second. He is safe at second base. Misses outside for ball two. Spins, checks him at second. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. Still unable to score. The Mets still nothing on the board. Lloyd. Is the batter now. 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch. Curveball just misses. 1 and 0. Boy, I tell you what, this is some kind of curveball. I mean, it just locks the players up. He's got great stuff. The 1 0 pitch towards center field. Wilson will field. Scrambles a little there, still puts it away. Boy, when that curveball is your best pitch, that really causes hitters some problems. Well, you talk about changing a hitter's eye level. You throw the fastball up high, you throw the curveball on the same plane, and then it drops down. It's awfully tough on the hitter. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. How oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Headed for the middle and through into center field. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. Lead off man in the box. Hit by a pitch his last time up. He wants to get some hacks in here. One out, run around at first. Hit in the air to left center. And that's through a base hit. Good offensive chance here. The best hitters in the game use the whole field. You have to be able to go the other way. Even when the pitch is over the heart of the plate, that's what he does right there. The guys prolong their career, not with power, but with base hits that are hit that way. Runners on first and second with one out. And the first pitch. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Well, look out. He got lucky there. You do not want to miss in the heart of the plate with this team. He delivers. Looks at a curve in there. He's behind now, 0-2. Taps this one foul off to the left. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Cam. Get a better look. Well, this one's coming up and in on him, and he chases it. A tough, tough pitch to handle. Not too much he could have done on that one, John. That was where a. Uh... Hitters just made you feel pretty bad by a pretty good pitcher. Well, yeah, he did. And that's just one of those things you have to tip your hat to the pitcher. He made great pitches.
Two men on and two men out. Here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, oh, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Here's the pitch. Lays off the curveball. Good pitch, though. One and one. Just off the inside edge, two and one. Here's the two one. Swing and a line at a right center. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. First runner gets in. And another run comes through. He'll pull in the third. That's a two RBI three bagger. Let's see how much that triple adds to their win expectancy on the WBA graph. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Leonard gets a turn here. And the offense here is putting on the show. Right now, they're in charge of this ball game. Boy, so many quality at-bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut, or this could get away from him. Change up. This is badly 1-0. Oh. Steve, absolutely right. They uh, can't afford to give up too many more here. This thing's going to disappear from them. And from the offense's perspective, hey, if they're making mistakes, capitalize on it, because you just don't know what's going to happen later in the game. Let's see what he does here. Change up just off the black. Falls behind 2-0. Oh. Yeah. He's ready. Now the 2-0. Oh. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. A great movement on that two-seam fastball. Trying to start it on the corner. Running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. Hoping for a free pass that time, but that fastball's in there. Strike one. Same thing here. Selective 3-0. Now you can still be selective on 3-1. Make him throw it where you want it. Here's the delivery. Strike and two. the fastball is over. 3-2 and two now. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And that one misses. That's going to be ball four. Toss the bat aside and head down to first. Now some control issues right now for the pitcher. He's got to get locked in and back in the zone. And the number eight spot rolls around. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. Two men on, two men out. First pitch on the way. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Shot towards the hole. And that will bring a run in. And so Florida happy to keep this momentum on their side. Well, even though they lost the last game, he had two big hits, and that's a good sign if you're the manager of this team that he's starting to swing the bat really well. Two down. Runners at first and second. And Johnson ready for the first oh. pitch. Slider in the dirt.
Here's the 1 0. The curve is in the strike zone, even at 1. Fourth inning of this game, and right now he's finding himself over 20 pitches here, and that is eating away at his overall pitch count total. So uh, he may not be around for long. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Here's the pitch. Ooh, he paints the corner with that one. Two and two now. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Slider just about had him. 3-2 count. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Three two on the way. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and it's through. Freddie Johnson single, and he's in there. And they're going to have to eat this one. He is in standing up. You get repeat opportunities. The question is what you do with it. What they're doing with it here is using it. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has keep, kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get an out. And Bell's in the box. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Well, after that quality at bat, I mean, this offense just landing some serious body blows on this pitcher in this game. Boy, you see this get started. It only builds confidence in the hitters. Runners at first and third with two away. First pitch to him. And that's a ball. Dickey too far outside with that. Well, he tried to get that knuckleball away from the hitter. Just happened to float just outside the strike zone. At the belt, the 1 0. Knuckler waved at and missed one and one. We got a chance for some fun today with a good knuckleball pitcher on the mound, Gary. As long as it's dancing, we could see some very frustrated hitters. Strike one two. one pitch is a knuckleball. Take it for a strike. One and two. And you are absolutely right. For these hitters, it can be very very frustrating if in fact that knuckler is moving and in the zone and that's not even to talk about the catcher behind the plate he's got his big glove on but the question is can he get his glove on the ball the pitch You're got out. him and they're able to avert any more damage side retired now well, that's a that's a brutal inning on the arm that's a lot of pitches to be thrown for just three outs Marlins up five Strawberry is the batter. Oh. Here's the delivery. And that's too low. 1-0. Oh. The gears we move through the middle part of this ball game right now. They just cannot mount any offense at all. No hits. And I'll tell you what, this pitcher is just shutting them down. One and one. Now the 1-0 oh pitch. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When well, the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. Strike two. Can't catch up with that fastball. He's evened it up to two. You're 
The 2 2 pitch. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching work. Into the fifth now and still hasn't given up a hit. You know, you have this kind of success. It's about command and control. He's throwing it where he wants to. It's going to be Hernandez. Grounded out last time. One out, base is empty. And here's the first one. And that's off the plate away, 1-0. and oh. Strike one! 1-0 oh on the way. That was a called strike of the knees, 1-1. One one. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Pitch on the way. Out number two. We are still in the fifth, but boy, is he impressive so far. Well, they can't touch anything he offers. He's just getting them out. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, he missed his spot with that one. He got away with it. You want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. Strike There's two. a called strike of the belt, so he's in the hole now, 0-2. Change up, swung on and missed. That will retire the side. All the way through five innings now. You don't want to drinks anybody, but there are just zeros up there. But they're not even coming close, Gary. Nothing even looks like it's close to falling in. The Marlins still out in front. Two hole to get things started next. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. And his throw is in time for out number one. Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. Well, an unbelievable season in 2010 from R.A. Dickey. And, you know, they didn't know what to expect. They didn't even know if he was going to be in the rotation. But he's proven to be a solid starter in the major leagues. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. Strike Called one. strike in the inner half, 0-1. As John was talking about, Dickey joined the rotation in May. And then went 11 and 9 and a real good ERA, a little unconventional, Steve. You know, a little unconventional in his in his knuckleball as well. Most knuckleballers kind of throw it soft and let it float up there. He throws a hard knuckleball that has late movement on it. You're up. He can't even time or even get close to timing that. Out number two. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. Number nine spot at the plate again. Single and scored his last time around. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Smash towards the hole. And Kemp grabs that one. And the side's retired. It goes quickly for R.A. Dickey. One, two, three. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. Bottom three due up next. And it's David Wright at the plate. One of the best base stealers in the National League last year. He swings and nails a liner. And Johnson makes the catch. Well, you got a long way to go, but folks here in the sixth, no one has been able to touch him. A very impressive effort so far. And you wonder if it's in his mind right now if he's smelling that no-hitter. Nobody on base. One away. Ball. 
Fastball misses away. 1-0. Oh. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitter, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any hits here. And we're, you know, moving through the middle part of the ballgame. Right. 1-0 oh now. And he looks at a fastball in there. 1-1. One and one. One one on the way. One one a fastball inside. Two and one now. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed though in off the plate. Great pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. He lets that fastball go by. Call strike three and two. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. Oh. The full count pitch. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Three Ball two. four. He walked him. Well, Ball after four. a long, epic battle. This at bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. Six slide up at the plate again. Grounded out his last time through. One down runner at first. First pitch, oh, just one. missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. He lets the 1-0 oh pitch go by, 1-1. Oh one. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary, hitting the spots and with great velocity. Takes a swing at that fastball, doesn't get to it, one and two. It's fouled away. Foul ball! Fastball inside. He had to do a little dancing on that one. Well, you've heard of a message in a bottle? Well, that's a message with a pitch. Don't crowd my plate. You're Fastball up. got him two down. The way he's going at it right now, you got to start thinking about Steve the no-no. You know, Gary, as a broadcaster, you never want to bring up too early and jinx a guy. He's got a no-hitter here in the sixth, though. It's going to be Wilson now. He bounced out his last time. Two outs and a man on first. The first pitch hit hard on the ground to short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, a lot can happen in the final three innings, but he's well on his way to that no-hitter. An amazing effort so far. Still unable to score. The Mets still nothing on the board. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Crook and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. He sends this one in the air towards center. One away. Up now, there's second baseman. 
He tripled home a couple in his last at bat. Base is empty with one away. The pitch from Dickey. Oh! Can't get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. Well, this is what they need to do right now is retire leadoff, man. You can't let a leadoff man keep getting on because they keep coming around to score. Here's the 1-0. Line shot into center field. And in there, three for three ball game. Well, with that hit right there, he's got the single covered, a double covered, and the triple covered. Let's see if he can go yard to complete the cycle. Leonard in the box now. He walked and later scored his last time through. One out, runner on at first. On the way. Just missed that one for strike one. Here's the pitch. Foul. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. You're out. And the knuckler, that one is in there. That's good for out number two. A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way. Ball. Fastball, too low, 1 0. Well, you got two outs here with a uh, man on first base. So I think a legitimate chance to get out of this inning without being scored upon and, and at least maybe get that offense back in there, see if they can't score some runs. Oh. Next pitch misses high for ball two. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Hit sharply towards the hole. He makes the catch. What a jump. So, R.A. Dickey out of the inning. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. Number two hole set to get things started. And here's Jose Reyes. He'll lead off the seventh. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. Good eye by Jose Reyes. He lays off that one, and it's even. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but uh, when I look up at the board under that H column, the hits column, I see a big goose egg there. So clearly, we're getting into exciting territory right now. The 1-1. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's 1-2. and two. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball on the outside corner. Strikes him out. One away in the seventh inning, getting closer to that no-hitter. Uh, he gets that strikeout, but he can't worry about getting strikeouts. He has to continue to pitch the contact and let the defense work behind him. The yeah, up in the batter's box. Popped out in foul territory last time. Base is empty, one out. Now the first pitch. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. And he'll stop at second base. And it will be a double. Well, we thought we were going to be a piece of history right here today. But as he takes his no hitter in the seventh, he can't make it through alive.
And on second, one away. The pitch. Strike one. And here's a swing and a miss, and he falls behind 0-2. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. You're and out. he got him. Strike three. And now with two outs in the seventh, the question is, can he keep this going? Now, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. It's going to be Hernandez. Lined out last time up. Two outs and a runner on second. And the first pitch. Strike it's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Liner between first and second. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without a run. Marlins still enjoying this leap. It's going to be Johnson now. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. The pitch from Dickey. Johnson on the ground. That's one down. And Bell's in the box. No hits yet, but he'll get another chance right here. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch. Here it comes. And Dickey will get him swinging for the first strike. Uh, nobody on base right now with one out, and that's what you need. You need outs and maybe a break from base runners for a little bit here. How about a quick inning to get back in and score some runs? Strike two. Boy, good hard knuckler swung on and missed. 0 and 2. The hitter's got to be in defense mode right here, just looking to make contact. Got to shorten up the swing. Misses at the shins, one and two. Well, and you wonder why a catcher wears such a big glove to catch a knuckle bar. Well, there's why. That one stays down in the zone. He had to go get it. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Now he helped him right there with two strikes. He gets the slider, but he chases it out of the zone for strike three. Of the plate, grounded out his last time up. Two out, space is empty. He deals. That misses inside 1 0. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs? I mean, they've been blowing out in this one so far. Put a, put, a zero, <clears throat> put a zero up there and let's see if the offense can get it done. Ball That's two. outside, ball two. He makes contact, line drive. 
And Kent grabs that one, and the side's retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes three up, three down. Florida five, the Mets nothing. It's going to be Johnson now. He'll lead it off here, inning number eight. First pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it's through. Credit Johnson, single. That will bring David Wright to the plate. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. Runner on first base, nobody out. Right, get set. Here's the first pitch. Had a big rip at that one and falls behind 0-1. Well, he's really only held him to two hits so far today, Gary. So he's been on top of his game out there. He's made it look easy. And, you know, it could possibly be a day the bullpen doesn't have to get used and can get some rest. The pitch swung on, line to right field. Here's a great chance for the Mets. Let's take a quick look at David Wright's season last year. Third in batting average with runners in scoring position. Fourth in doubles. He was also ranked in the top five in stolen bases. Pitchers know when he gets on, he's a threat to run, and he gets the hitters behind him in the lineup some fastballs to hit. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And here's the pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Swings on the 0-1 pitch. Can't hit it. Strike two. Rings him up. You talk about dominance in a baseball game, you're seeing it here on the mound. I tell you, there's not a hitter in this lineup that has a clue how to hit this guy. What he wants now is that shutout. And their rookie left fielder at the plate. Struck out swinging last time. Wright's on at first. Johnson at second. And the first pitch. There's a bullet towards third. Oh, boy, they simply throw to the wrong base. It's going to be Wilson now, still seeking his first hit of the ball game. Two men on and two men out. Here's the delivery. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, he's he's over the 80 pitch mark right now at this point in the game. And you know that pitching coach is keeping a close eye on him to see if he tires. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. That one falls. Johnson's going to try and come home. And Johnson scores. Uh, just a shame to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary. But still, just a tremendous performance today. Runners at second and third and two down. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. 
And that's out number three. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. The Mets cut the deficit and get some much needed run support. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. We'll try it again here, just one for three thus far. And the first pitch. And that's a ball. Dickey too far outside with that. One and one. he looks at a fastball in there. One and one. The one one Strike good two. movement to the knuckler one and two when the knuckleballs away the tendency is to give up on it when it's down you think well it's going to fall out of the zone that one stayed up he tried to make contact but couldn't do it here's the pitch lined foul towards third. He swings, hits a ball to right field. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. The runner on first, no outs. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1 and 0. Fastball low 2 and 0. Come set now the 2-0. Tried to launch that knuckler, but he missed it. Two and one. Well, he's spinning himself into the ground. That knuckler going inside there. He tried to clear his hands, but just couldn't make contact. Two-one pitch. He got fooled on that one. Takes a cut at a ball down in the dirt. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Oh. And it's fouled away. Well, anytime you have two strikes, if you look at the pitch coming out of the pitcher's hand and you think it's going to be a borderline pitch, oh. you better swing. You don't leave it in the hands of the umpire. Take your chances. And that's what he did. He fouled it off. Now he's going to see another one. And he swings and misses. That is that dancing knuckler. And that's out number one. That's his fifth strikeout on the knuckleball. That thing is dancing all over the place. They don't have a chance. Even if they had a fly swatter, they couldn't hit that thing. Runner at first with one down. And here's the first one. Right Knuckler on. ties him and knots, and it's 0-1. That knuckleball down in the zone is so tough because that's where it gets its most substantial movement. He swings right over the top of it. Here it comes. One and one. That misses downstairs for a ball. 1-1. Why well, do you wonder why a catcher wears such a big glove to catch a knuckleball? Well, there's why. That one stays down in the zone. He had to go get it. Oh. 
That's taken low for a ball, two and one. Drilled towards third. Right for one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. And the number seven batter in the box. He has had a heck of a day thus far, and he's got a chance here to complete the cycle. Now, Gary, you have to expect he's going to be swinging from the heels. He knows he's going for the cycle. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Right. And he's in there. No play. That one ate him up. Leonard has a turn in the box. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Two down. Runners at first and second. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. And that's a ball. He watches the inside pitch delivered from Dickey. Well, anytime one of your middle relievers throws over 45 pitches, you got to wonder how much more he has left. Might want to get someone else up out there. The 1-0 pitch. Strike he one. watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 101. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. Now the 1 1 pitch. Oh. That misses down in the zone. 2 and 1. Now the 2 1 pitch. A knuckler misses, and it's now 3 and 1. Well, even though you're three and one in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. Full count pitch. Popped up, should be playable behind the plate. No throw. He goes in standing up. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. And that misses. Ball four. Now you got the sacks full. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. Two outs, bases loaded. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a slow knuckler in there. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count. 0 and 2. It's fouled off. On the way. Swing and a miss on that knuckler. Side retired. They give no runs on one hit and they leave the sacks full. Next, it'll be the Mets getting it going. Piazza is up now. He'll start the ninth. The first pitch. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning. and They just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. The 
Good downward movement on that pitch. It's one and two. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. One two pitch coming. Got him. Ninth strikeout of the game. This pitch has a little life to it at 84 on the gun. It's a pretty good movement. He fed him a fastball on that last pitch, John, and then locked him up with movement to finish him off. But did he ever? That was a great sequence. Show him the heat and then drop one right in on him the next pitch. One out, base is empty. And the first pitch. Ball! Ball! 1 0 on the way. And that's off the plate and low, 2 and 0. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. 2-0 on the way. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball, but he missed. Strike one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Fouled away. Foul ball! Here's the pitch. Line drive. The catch. And he has it for the second out. It's going to be Hernandez. Lined out in his last at bat. It's going to be Hernandez. Hasn't had much success yet in this game. He's hoping to get something this time. Base is empty and two down. Oh. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. A swing line to left center. And that's going to be a base hit for Hernandez. Well, anytime you bring in a relief pitcher to come in, in in a key situation, the last thing you want to do is for him to serve one up to the first hitter. That's exactly what he did, giving up that big base hit. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. Fastball misses away. One and oh. Ready with a 1 0. Line fair down the line and right. And it's through. Freddie Johnson singled. Hernandez headed to third. This look at the leaderboard brought to you by State Farm. We take a look here at the highest average with runners in scoring position last year. Have a look at Wright. He's number three. Well, every year, teams leave a ton of runners on base, but I tell you what, this guy is not one of them that's going to leave a lot of guys on. He is absolutely fantastic in crucial situations. He puts the ball in play, and he helps drive in a lot of runs for his team. Two men on, two men out. And here's the delivery. Oh, Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Look at this big season average for him last year. 391 against the Marlins. And a fly ball could be the last out. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers.
Now look at our player of the game. A standout performance deserving of the recognition today. Well, anytime you have three legs of the cycle, you know you've had a great game and probably more than likely helped your team win. And that is what this man did today. He's capable of hitting the ball at the ballpark, but he knows where his money's being made, and that's with his legs. Singles, doubles, triples. That's why he is so valuable to this team and why he's our player of the game. And Steve, they're able to win this game rather handily. A bit of home cook it here that was right on from the beginning. Now, Gary, as a player, you always like having the 10th man out there, and these fans provided that today. They were into it. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.